Okay, so now I wanted to show off some cool stuff. So, smart off-grid. So in order to do this, you need to have Wi-Fi. As you can see up here, I have a Wi-Fi extender. Now this is picking up Wi-Fi off the house that's pretty far away. You can't even see it through the trees from here. So basically what the Wi-Fi is gonna enable me to do is a multiple things. So we'll start off outside the trailer here and I'll show you what we have going on. So I have a screen recording going here on my cell phone, which I'll bring up on the screen here. Uh, wind's starting to pick up. Hopefully the camera's not too affected by it. So basically at the top, I've got the battery temperature for inside the battery bank, I have a temperature sensor. Inside the trailer, I have another sensor. AC plug, so my AC unit, I can turn it on and off remotely. Uh, as well as the trailer fan, I'll show you inside, has a smart plug. Solar trailer outdoor lights. So that's gonna be coming off of this little device here. I already have a grommet set to run my wiring to run for outdoor lighting on top of the uh, solar array. So that I can turn on and off. So that triggers this little switch here and I'm gonna run my wiring for my outdoor lighting. So I can set a scene to have this come on at dusk and stay on for three hours, turn off. Uh, also, you can see I have, uh, I have golf cart charger. So that's gonna be this outdoor plug down here. And what I'm gonna do is once I purchase a golf cart and I put lithium batteries in it, when I park it here, I can plug the charger into this outlet here, and then I can control when it charges, if I want it to charge at all, because with lithium iron phosphate, you don't wanna have it uh, at a high voltage. So I could ride it around until it's 50% and then just park it and leave it. And next time I'm on my way over here, I can plug it in well, I could actually turn it on on my way, and then when I get here, it'll be fully charged in order for me to drive around the property. And this here, this is just a regular outdoor plug. This is gonna be for any kind of saws or anything I wanna run. So that's the smart setup here outside. I'm gonna put the cover plate over this after I'm done filming. Um, but yeah, that's the smart outdoor lights and smart outdoor golf cart charger port. So now we'll head inside the trailer and I've got some other really cool devices to show you in there. So I have this trailer hooked up to the Wi-Fi and I have my grow watt hooked up into the Wi-Fi so I can remotely see what is going on with my array, what is going on with my power consumption. So I'm gonna try and we'll start at the bottom here. So this is an AC plug. Uh, well, it's just a regular plug, but I have my AC plugged into it. And what happens is, is I can tell when just the fan is running on the AC and I can see what the temperature is in here. So if it's cold enough, I can switch off the AC for the night. And then in the morning, I can even have it set so it comes on all on its own once a certain temperature is hit, which is how I have it set up. So now you can see I have this temperature sensor here, which is reading 24.2. And the temperature sensor inside the battery box is reading 20 degrees. So I can turn the AC on and off here. And then the trailer fan, I've got a fan at the other end there that's blowing the hot air back this way. And the lights, the golf cart charger, I already discussed this outside, but I'm gonna show you on here. Now is this is what the temperature sensors are connected to. This is a hub. So the two temperature sensors are connected to that. This on off here is what they call a bridge. So this is bridging an RF connection between the smoke detector that's up there and the internet. So if I have a smoke alarm go off in here, I will get a notification on my phone to let me know that there's a fire inside the trailer here. Uh, what else do we have? This little guy here is a USB smart plug. This is connected to the phone. So the phone, I can turn on and off the charging and I can preset like charge for an hour and then off for two and then charge for an hour because you don't want your phone constantly on the charger. That's just an extra Samsung phone I had lying around. Really cool what I'm able to do with it. So I have it hooked up through an app called uh, Alfred. So now what the Alfred app is gonna allow me to do is it's going to allow me to see inside the trailer. Now I can't pan around, but I have it on the door. And if anybody comes in here, I will get an alert on my phone telling me that somebody's inside here. And another really cool feature that I have on this phone there's another app here called Team Viewer. So now with this Team Viewer app, as you can see, as soon as I opened it up, the phone came on. What I can do is I can actually control 
the cell phone. Right now I'm not on the Wi-Fi. I'm not at the same internet. I can control the phone through another phone. So if I'm at home and I want to see what the state of charge is of my batteries. Now, as you know, with lithium iron phosphate, unfortunately, my battery BMS does not communicate with the grill watch. So on the app, I don't get updates on the state of charge of my battery. It always just shows me 100%. So a way around this is I have the phone connected and then I can use the phone to connect via Bluetooth through the smart shunt that I have here. And what this is gonna allow me to do is right now I can see on my phone, through that phone and through the Bluetooth, that I'm now currently charging with about 11.5, around 10 amps, 11 amps, 12 amps, kicking in and around. So right now I can view from a remote location that my batteries are charging and I can see the indicator of state of charge. So it provides me with a camera and we'll say a Bluetooth hotspot in order to view what's going on with everything. And then also I can get onto my BMS for my uh, battery bank. And we can see right now I'm charging with 11.2 amps and that's through the BMS uh, Bluetooth. So that's gonna be really, really, really nice to be able to see this from a remote location or wherever I want. So basically all I need to do now is just kind of work on my wire management. Um, and yeah, that's uh, all hooked up, smart and ready to go. <laughs> so as you can tell, I definitely like my little smart gadgets and everything. So this is, uh, this is definitely as much stuff as I could pack in. Uh, if you like the video, if you want to know how anything kind of works, I can do a, I'll do a breakdown of everything that's in this system, uh, put it in the description. And uh, if there's any more detail you want to know, or if you have a video idea for me, uh, just let me know in the comment section. And thanks for watching. Bye.